This is a really interesting one, mirroring. This is where you take the last thing that they said. It's sometimes you can use it as a trick almost. <laughs> and then see if people notice. I've often done it just as an experiment because I like to test how much people like to talk about themselves. So I'll just ask a question based on the last thing that they said. Uh, I've been I've been looking for a new job ever since I got laid off. Oh, you're looking for a new job? Yeah, now yeah, I've been looking <laughs> <laughs> that people don't notice that all you're doing is making a question out of the thing that they just said. <laughs> One common question, issue, concern that I get from English learners is not just help me with my English, how can I improve, but how do I think of things to say in conversations. My English isn't good enough to make friends. First of all, nonsense. That's a nonsense, stupid excuse. So if you think that, you're wrong. And second, thinking of things to say becomes a lot easier when you shift your perspective about what a conversation is. So when you're getting to know someone, right? It's not a series of speeches where you have to think of something and then talk about it for a while and then take turns. It doesn't have to go like that, right? In fact, if you want to really connect with someone, if you want to de develop a real authentic bond with someone, to show empathy, to connect on an emotional level, my recommendation, and this has worked for me throughout my life, I'll tell you about how I sort of came to this uh, to this idea because it, it is through a personal uh, experience that I had. If you can figure out how to ask really good questions, your life will get a lot easier for a number of reasons, right? Questions are the answer to making friendships, in my view. Questions are the answer to getting sort of familiar with others, getting to know others. Questions are the answer to socializing, especially if you are the type of person who may have some social anxiety. Questions are the answer to not knowing what to say because it alleviates all of the pressure from you to think of a, to think of a soliloquy about your views on some topic, right? <laughs> and there are many benefits to framing everything as a question. So I'm going to get into this and I'm going to share a few specific ways that you can do this, that you can apply this, but I think it makes sense for me to share my experience first. I was traveling somewhere, it might have been China or India, I can't remember where I was, and I was in a cafe or something. And this person, a, a, a man in his mid 50s or something, started talking to me. And I discovered that he and his wife were riding their motorcycles uh, around the country and they were on a motorcycle trip, okay? This guy started with the assumption, here is this young guy, and he asks a polite question, which I think I did. He assumed then from that point that I was absolutely wrapped, that I had nothing better to do than listen to how interesting his life was, how interesting his travels were. I couldn't care less. At the time, I was not confident enough to say, stop talking. I want to just sit here and have my coffee, right? I probably should have done that because I was not interested. But that experience of this person talking at me for 45 minutes made me think I can't be like that. I cannot become like that. Where people are just one directional fire hoses and can't really look at another person and think maybe they have something to say to me now to make it a real back and forth. 
So I made this kind of weird commitment at that point to myself. I said, okay, for the next year, <laughs> whenever I find myself in a conversation, I am going to focus on only getting people to tell me things as a way to force myself to get used to this. And I'm going to just listen. And that's what I'm going to do. So I did that for the next year. And it was unbelievable. <laughs> it was sometimes I heard boring things and sometimes I heard interesting things. But just that shift of saying, I'm not going to say anything. I mean, I'll, I'll say a few things to fill space. But I'm going to emphasize listening and I'm going to emphasize asking. And doing that allowed me to make so many connections and friendships and learn so many things that it became a, a really powerful tool in my tool belt. Now, now I do say things, I do express my opinions, but I've always had that then tool that I can use to engage people. And I look around and I don't see a lot of people doing it. And so this is something that I think it's worth considering when you want to make connections with people, show an interest. Ask a question because people like talking. People like to share things about themselves. People feel good when others show an interest in them, right? And then that has the benefit of taking pressure off you if you're the type of person who struggles to find things to say, <laughs> right? So you find yourself in a situation you are talking with someone and you think, well, oh, this is an interesting person. You can share your views, but just before you do that, ask one question, one open question as they're talking about something or maybe maybe before they say anything. Just ask a question and see what happens. I think you'll be surprised. Of course, it depends on the person, but I think you'll be surprised at how powerful this is. And if you develop this ability to ask really good questions, people start to think of you as a really interesting and insightful person, not realizing that it's not that you're saying a bunch of stuff that makes you seem interesting and insightful, <laughs> but it's that you know how to push things along and get things started, right? <laughs> uh, we have a Discord community, which you're welcome to join. And one thing I noticed is that when a conversation starts with hello, everyone, or good morning, which is fine. It's a good wish, right? It doesn't really spark much. It doesn't really, it doesn't really create engagement or interaction because people don't know what to do with it. People don't know how to engage with hello other than saying hi back, right? But if you ask an interesting question that is open-ended, that gets them thinking, that gets them to share a viewpoint, that gets them to explain something, then, then you can really get things going, right? So people like to share things about themselves. People feel good when you show interest and it takes the pressure off you, as I said. So what are some examples? I think we can talk about this in a few different sort of groups here. One would be to get someone started. You simply ask them what they think about something or ask them to explain something right? Could you explain X? Could you tell me more about Y? What do you think about A? Why do you think B is the way it is? Pretty simple, right? Or you present them with a problem and people will say something usually. If it's contextual, of course, it has to be in the context of the conversation. It has to make sense, okay? But then as the conversation goes on, you might say things like, how did that make you feel? <laughs> what would be an example of that? So someone says something, explains it, and you say, okay, oh, interesting. What would be an example of that? Maybe you can think of an example, but you're pushing them to give you an example. Okay. Can you explain what you mean by that? So someone makes something, makes a statement, it's fairly broad, and you feel that that could use a little bit more fleshing out, a little bit more detail. So you simply say, can you explain what you mean by that? Oh, sure, I can explain that. And then <laughs> now they're talking again. Maybe they're telling you a story 
and you're showing them that you're listening, you might say, then what happened? Then what happened? So what's next, basically? Or they tell you something that's going on and or something they did recently and you say in instead of, oh, yeah, and I blah, 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 where we take turns, you say, okay, and w what was that like? <laughs> now they're not just telling you about the thing that happened. Now they're adding their emotions, their feelings, okay? What, why, you could try saying, why do you think so? Anytime someone gives an opinion without explaining the reasoning behind the opinion, why do you think so? Why do you think that is? Why do you think that happened? Why is that? That's a simple way to say it. Now, you might avoid saying, why? <laughs> it depends on the situation. Oh, yeah, why? Why is that? I like why is that personally, okay? Now, there are also these little ones that are sort of like comments that can sometimes push things along or also be used to show that you're just paying attention, right? So someone is telling a story or explaining something and you say, are you serious? To show, whoa, that, that thing that you just said, that's pretty amazing or impressive or interesting. Oh, really? Really? Really. Now, the intonation of that one is very important if you say, really? That's sort of like saying, yeah, wow, well, okay, cool. I'm, inter I'm interested in what you're saying. I'm listening. Keep going. But if you say, oh, really? Uh, it's sort of just like nodding, and it may even be a telegraphing that you are not interested, right? Again, as I said, why, why can be useful, but it has to be in context, right? You want to be careful with that because you don't want to, you don't want it to seem like you're an inquisitor. <laughs> why, why, why? Then people might start to feel uncomfortable. And one that sounds ho uh, softer than why is how come? Oh yeah, how come? So you explain something, you tell me an idea you have, you tell me a thing you did, and, and I want to know the reason. I say, oh, how come? Doesn't that sound better than why? Why? Right? So I, I like that one. Now, as a test, so here's my challenge to you, right? This is fairly general, but I'm just giving this as a, as a general model for you to start having different interactions where you think of your conversations as a way for you to ask questions instead of a way for you to think of things that you have to say, give little speeches. It's not like that. It doesn't have to be like that. I accept the irony of me, <laughs> but you're, nobody else is here with me, right? It's just me and the stairs <laughs> and, my, and my coffee. So I have to be the one talking, right? But I do love to ask questions. So try this out. Let me know how it goes. And if you want, you can try mirroring. This is a really interesting one, mirroring. This is where you take the last thing that they said. It's sometimes you can use it as a trick almost <laughs> and then see if people notice. I've often done it just as an experiment because I like to test how much people like to talk about themselves. So I'll just ask a question based on the last thing that they said. Uh, I've been I've been looking for a new job ever since I got laid off. Oh, you're looking for a new job? Yeah, now yeah, I've been looking <laughs> <laughs> that people don't notice that all you're doing is making a question out of the thing that they just said. <laughs> and you, sometimes you can do it, you can do five, six, seven, and they don't notice. Yeah, I've been looking online. I tried, uh, I, I interviewed with this company and that company. And so far, I haven't had any luck. Nobody has uh, given me uh, any, any calls back. You haven't had any calls back? Yeah, nobody's given me any calls. <laughs> It's really interesting. It's like a little hack of human psychology. It doesn't work for everybody, but it's fun. <laughs> and maybe that is my uh, sort of, um, that might be my devious side coming out a little bit because I like to uh, experiment socially when I have conversations. When I have a conversation in general, I look at it as a little experiment that I'm doing to learn something. <laughs> so... Just know that my intentions aren't always, oh, I really want to know. Sometimes I'm trying stuff out and uh, uh, having fun with it. So give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. If you haven't already done so, don't forget, don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And also get a free English course in the links in the description. Mm -hmm.